Hey, this is Notzer, and we're in the Tier 9 American Light Cruiser, Seattle, on the map Estuary. This is a first impression. It's still work in progress, and the stats are definitely not final yet. So, yeah, keep that in mind when watching the video. I am using a Cleveland Commander in this. Conveniently, for testing purposes, we get a premium version. It's not really a premium, but it acts as a premium for commander retraining and stuff, so I don't need to train for the commander. So I could freely move my Cleveland Commander between all the light cruisers and test it with a perfect build. This is a perfect build, inertia fuse, high explosive, demolition expert, everything that you would expect. Rate of fire, maneuverability, concealment. You got the idea. So right off the bat, I was headed to the eastern side of the map. I was trying to get in range to use my radar. Radar's about, oh man, it's a really small preview screen for me. I had a monitor issue, but I think it's like 9.5 or 9.9, something in that range. Your concealment is about in that same range as well, fully buffed, obviously. So I'm trying to get into a position where I can use radar on D point, but still be in cover. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. All the light cruisers, all the Americans really love estuary because their gun velocity allows them to fire freely over the islands and not incur any high velocity guns in return fire. So of course I'm gonna take full advantage of that just as, you know, the Atlanta. That's thinking about that, applying that to the light cruiser line, that's what you need to be focused on and you'll have an idea what you wanna do. So I use radar, I get close enough that I can do that. Unfortunately, I'm so close that I can't actually assist in damaging the enemy DD, the Chungmu. But radar has shoot him off. And that's a big effect right there. But for whatever reason, Wargaming doesn't think it is. I don't know why. I'm not getting any special ability, spotting a target, keeping the person from capturing. I mean, that, that basically denied his interest in capturing, knowing that radar was going to reveal his location but we've got another target it is a military target and this one is the Missouri a gorgeous vessel so powerful and I just want to burn it to the ground so I'm gonna back away carefully and I was trying to lead the target but it looks like he's stopping checking every so often friendly has spotted an enemy DD that I don't know if he wanted to cheat to come through the gap to get behind us, but he's there. So I just want to make sure that I'm aware. Guns traverse pretty quick though, so I can react if I need to. But I'm getting into solid cover and I'm going to freely fire all my guns if I can get the right angle. And you're gonna see how quick light cruiser American guns work. Spoiler alert, they kill things very quickly very, very quickly. It's the whole be killed, which has always been the issue with the light cruisers. So I'm in a very comfortable position. I'm gonna freely fire, and look for fires. So the rate of fire feels pretty good. It looks like there's about one and a half, maybe two in flight. I don't know that you get three. Maybe you could get three with a drone rush, but yeah, I, I've got a significant amount of shells going downrange, and it's HE, of course. I think with my Inertia Fuse and then Demolition Expert, I think I'm at like 11 or 12% fire, which isn't bad at all. That's completely usable, and it just racks up. It, it just stacks on stacks. The enemy can put out the fire or choose not to, maybe only have one fire. When it gets two, three, and plus you have your inertia fuse high explosive, it works really well against these targets. I think it's pretty much mandatory that the American light cruisers are going to rock inertia fuse high explosive. So when you're using inertia fuse high explosive, you should honestly not cheat that much with AP because the reward is so lucrative. You've invested at least four points, probably more with Demolition Expert. You really only want to fire AP if you know you're going to get a good return on that AP shot. AKA it's broadside or it's a low armor target or it's a citadel or something like that. There's really no reason to want to fire AP with the American light cruisers if you've got an inertia fuse build and you've invested all that 
you know, skills to it. Obviously, we've, you know, done 40,000. Nothing he can do. And he's a viewer. So I was giving him... I was giving a hell. I was going, you know... It would really suck if you were taking full damage from a light cruiser that you couldn't see and stuff like that, you know? And he's like, ah, I hate your nuts, sir. Obviously, he doesn't. But he's in here with a couple friendlies who watch my content. Him and Michael. Michael will show up. And I was... I was afraid that the torpedo guy was gonna steal that kill. Of course. You do 61,000 damage, Notzer, and nothing to show for it. Yeah. Feels great. Feels great. But, enemy's gone. Clearly, another enemy is trying to capture the base. It did look like he was smoked up a little bit. You might have noticed that my crosshair was a little bit of haze binocular view. That that just tells me that there's a smoke on his position. If he would have held his fire, maybe he could have survived, but he was under constant pressure. And honestly, that doesn't communicate very well in the game. You have to sort of type that out. Hey, stop firing or something like that. It just It's just really awkward, and I would hope that eventually they would get to some automatic callouts and stuff like that. Regardless, though, I move forward trying to spot the target. Clearly, the enemy DD is on the edge of the capture, and I can't move any further. And oh, you sneaky devil, you. Try to torpedo me with deep water torpedoes, so it's pretty much the chunk move. It's, it's the only DD left on the enemy team. But thankfully, I wasn't in a position to take the torpedoes. Instead, we've got King George. He's moving forward. And the British take a ton of HE damage. You want to freely fire HE. They've got a soft outer layer. I think that Wargaming was trying to recreate the typical British male. A soft outer layer of flesh. Maybe or maybe not from beer or other items. You never know. But HE is really good. HE is really good against them and sets tons of fires and rarely ever shatters because it has such a light outer layer. But this enemy Chung Mu, how dare you fire on me? Oh, he's trying to return the favor. The fire's out too, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get some more fires on you. And it's so easy. It's so easy to rotate the gun, set a fire here, set a fire there. You get a fire, you get a fire, you know. And while doing all this, having a tool that might be the perfect counter to whatever the enemy wants to do, that's a huge attraction to the American Light Cruiser line. The only thing that's sort of a downside, it takes a ton of damage. We just took a front or angled citadel for, oh, I don't know, a third of our life. Very devastating, but I was able to duck back into cover. And because my gun velocity is the way it is, if I can fire over an island that's fairly shallow, I could be pretty safe. And I chose to use my hydroacoustic in this instance because I just wasn't sure where that enemy was. He could come up the rear. I don't know if I would be willing to have him come up the rear, but I think I could deal with him coming up the rear. But he's clearly not going to do that, so I'm going to go after King George, who is coming directly at me. I mean, he couldn't be more direct with his directioning, so we're just going to fire on a target. Oh yes, oh yes, King George does not like me. He's blind firing. I'm not spotted. He's not going to get me. There's an island in the way. And, uh, in fact, we're going to make it a little bit better. We're going to make it a little bit where I don't have to deal with any islands. Knowing that the Pensacola is moving off and not going to come in the rear, I'm going to just get into this little shallow area of the island. You might see where I'm moving. It sort of has a little water pond or whatever. And all guns firing. Oh, yes. Again, he blind fires. Ah, uh, the American light cruisers. Always annoying the enemy since 2015, when the Atlanta was one of the first ships in the game. And yeah, he's just so fleshy, so soft. Get some more HE on you, huh? 
He's dealing with my friendly torpedoes. Friendly torpedoes are being sent out towards this guy, and are we gonna get it? Yes, we do. We get the last shot. While all this is going on, we've absolutely needed to contribute a ton to this game. It's four versus four, neck and neck. There is an AFK on the enemy team, and he's in gun range, so guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fire on him. No mercy, don't care. It sucks that he was AFK. He probably would have died to my guns even if he wasn't AFK, because Estuary is quite possibly the best American light cruiser map in the game. It, best American map in the game, let's be honest. You could just fire pretty much everything over these islands and the gun velocity just works in your favor, so he's gonna be dead. Saying all that, there are at least two enemy ships that are fairly close, and I was very hesitant by this. I'm trying to not have everything on cooldown. I noticed that they wanted to try and use their aircraft, and they used my defensive fire to counter that aircraft. But I just couldn't wait any longer, so I used my radar, and sure enough, it does look like the enemy is going for me, at least it, it looks like they are pushing, and I'm I'm keeping an eye on the mini-map. I'm watching it, and clearly the key is taken out by the friendlies. And I'm like, okay, they don't see me. They do know that I'm using radar against them. But how much can they really infer from that? I don't have torpedoes. I could load an aircraft if I wanted to, but I would have to drop radars, so I don't know why I would ever do that. Especially in a light cruiser. Light cruiser, number one task, kill DDs. And I was hunting this guy. This is Michael. He watches my content. You've seen him before. I All I wanted to do was kill Michael. And he did not want to die to me. And I'm like, I don't really have a shot. And in order to get the shot, I back up smack dab into a Pensacola. Well, he's showing a perfect broadside. So unload the HE, switch to AP. Oh no, he's angling back. The AP is now useless. I tried to go super, but I should have just stuck with HE and just pounded it in because it would have done four or five K per salvo. I don't need to get the home run. I just need to play consistently. I always underestimate the good players and overestimate the bad players. I'll do that same play with a bad player who will step perfectly broadside and I'll stick with HE because He's clearly gonna angle. Clearly he didn't angle if he's a bad player, and clearly he did, because Pensacola did a great job just doing tons of damage to me. 50% of my life gone. But regardless, still alive. Two versus three. We do have a friendly that is gonna run smack into the enemy, and oh, hello, another ship. Enemy Colorado. Now I unload Pretty much all my HE. He's firing on me. I'm trying to angle while all this is going on. I think he's overestimating the speed of my ship. Once all the HE has been unloaded, I switch to AP. And we're going to go a little bit higher because the belt armor. And it, it should just be fine. It should be an easy kill. Nothing he can do about it. Yep, there we go. Luckily, we dodged that one salvo that he could do. And now it's one versus three. How could we screw this up? Especially when he's under radar. Friendly can see him. Friendly can see him die. To the deep water torpedoes. So now it's two versus one. We see where he is located. I am going to rapidly gain distance, trying to get around this as quickly as I can. Now. One thing that I will note, you want to be extra careful of the KG veteran trying to catch a torpedo salvo. Now, we just saw him use at least one torpedo salvo on Leon. He still has one extra. He's a Chung Mu. It is a really good ship. I think I had like a 70 or 80% win rate in it. I screamed to the tier 10 Yue Yang because it was so good. So. Not underestimating it. I am aware of the torpedoes. So what I was kind of thinking is stall it out a little bit. 
get Hydra Acoustic so I can safely move around. I, I he could he could quite literally be right in front of me. I don't know why he would be right in front of a light cruiser. But he could be right in front of it, so I was like, you know what? There's no reason to push this too fast. We're completely fine. The only way we lose is if we die. And hopefully the teammate has that same exact feeling. Oh, crap. They're both spotted. My guy's low, and he did try and send a double deep water torpedo, but Hydroacoustic clearly spots it out. I'm really proud of myself because I would normally just be like, go, doesn't matter. And I probably would have run smack into that if I wouldn't have waited for hydroacoustic. Because I did, I was safe. Because I did, my friend was not. But I'm still alive, just like ranked. I can guarantee that my team has a chance at winning with my life still in the game. If I'm watching, well, probably not. I do, however, wish I still had one more radar. I don't know where I would not use the radar, because I felt like every radar usage was very important for Intel, but I wish I had one more. I got Superintendent, the premium, you know. But regardless, one versus one, all he's got to do is get a lucky torpedo. I don't know if he knows that I'm using Hydro, he probably infers that I am, especially when I was coming around that and didn't get anywhere near the deep water torpedoes. So he's probably going to assume he can attack me with tor the torpedoes. But I don't want to die to his torpedoes. So I'm going to set up on the corner of this island. Either approach, I'll have guns ready to go. He has to basically take the shortest route. When he does that, he's going to die. That was the plan. But, as you know, even with good plans, something crazy can happen. So we're just going to set up here. Just like a triangle, you know. I, I can rotate very quickly. Three to five seconds and the guns are going to be on the target, wherever he is. And we're just going to wait. Got three bases to one. Feeling pretty good. Any second now, here he is. He chose to go the other route, so guns are rotating. He's trying to avoid. Not really going to work out. He definitely was caught unaware of my exact location. Oh, we missed one. Oh, he tried to angle to send, but we're able to back away just in the nick of time. We take out Michael, and we win the game. And I felt really good about that. That was clean play. And she performed. DPS. 192,000. Four kills. Tons of base XP. Absolutely fantastic game. Light Cruisers, what can I say? They dish a lot. They take a lot. Good try, Michael. Hope everyone enjoyed seeing that game. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time.